Jason here. This is Sai. What's up, Super? And here we go. Uh, the latest episode. This is going to be episode three of season three of The Flash. San San Flash this. So, uh, this one is called Magenta. Mm. And from what I have learned, it is not Magneto confirmed. I don't know why I thought that. That's a good thing. Yeah, but <laughs> um, it's not Psylocke either. Yeah. Um, it's completely nobody from Marvel. It's um, actually a good thing. the combination of Jesse Quick mm -hmm. and The Flash, I guess. Red and mm. purple. Wait, what makes magenta? Now I forgot. It, you know, that, Magenta's you're, like you're, a purple, you're, right? You're, you're going in the right direction. It's right. just a matter of... How does that play into the story? I, ew. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't mean anything. So it's just like, like, how does that play into the story? Like, what happens with her character? You know, so I don't know. I'm, I'm Only we in it, I heard. Mm. Unfortunately. Because I've been staying away from uh, really? social did media you, and spoilers. Did you not see I, any of the previews? No, I've been staying away from it. I'm one of those people that You're has so lucky. been... You're so very, lucky. Very, very Because that shit was on that. that shit was on the thumbnail like yeah. everywhere. Uh I will I was say so mad. Uh our fans who follow Ruby have given me some great advice. They've told me to avoid looking at too many comments because True. people are putting in too True. many spoilers. True. And I've applied that For everything? Yes. And it's it's working. Doesn't mean I'm avoiding comments, I'm answering as many comments as I can. It's just I'm afraid to see anything. I think respectful spoilers. respectful fans generally want to see your uh, a genuine reaction, or they want you to be genuinely yes. entertained. In but, order to uh, you know, a lot a lot of people were like telling me to watch Legends of Tomorrow, the la uh, the latest episode. Yeah, because it's good. Right. No, I watched it, but yeah. like people were just like telling me, "Come on, dude, you gotta watch it. You gotta watch it." Or at least uh, they said, "React or watch it." Right. And I watched it, like even beforehand. But I'm like, why is everybody like that episode? For me, for me personally, mm. that episode wasn't um, great. It was still good. Mm. It's but it was something in that I would watch in pass uh, passing, basically. Uh. But. Okay. I know the reason why everybody was telling me to watch it. So spoilers. Spoilers. If you didn't see the last episode of Legends of Tomorrow, uh, our local Flash crew shows up, right. and the Reverse Flash shows up at the end. Yeah. But unfortunately for and not me, not just him. Yeah. Well, Damian Dark as well. And not just him. And uh, 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 Arrow as well. And not just him. Damian. Damian Dark. Arrow. Just the Society of America. Oh, that was like such a passing. That, that, that was like... Yeah, it seems like such a passing, but look at it. They're outside of time jumping. That's something that people really want to see because it's the closest Is thing it? to the Justice League. Because that's what forms and I becomes guess. the Justice League. Later. I guess. So, my thing about it, and this is the only thing I'll say, is unfortunately... I like people like you are able to avoid those previews. It's but, hard. But, it's really, but, really difficult because they're everywhere. Right. But all of that shit was given away in one of the Legends of Tomorrow trailers. So I already knew uh -huh. Reverse Flash was going to show up some form or fashion in that show. And so when I saw it, it was cool to see. But unfortunately, mm. I would even if I did a reaction to it, I just would have been like, oh, cool. All right. He's there. Like. It's whatever, and then everybody would have been mad at me, like, "Oh, you didn't react, right?" <laughs> I'm like, "Well, I, I reacted. It was just I knew underwhelming. it. Yeah, <laughs> it was underwhelming only because it was already spoiled in the previous trailers." Well, see, for me, when I saw the trailer, I'm I'm telling myself, "Ah, oh, this is what could happen during a crossover episode." So I'm looking at it as I it's not so. during, it's not in the main storyline. It's for a crossover when they do right. four shows. Well, that like, would okay. I mean that would be great if it awesome. wasn't for the Legends of Tomorrow promo, so that's that's the problem. Yeah. So I already knew that sooner or later, Damian Dark and mm. uh, Reverse Flash were gonna meet up. I just wish they had saved it. But at the same time, I also mm. understand that the CW has a job to do in terms of getting people to tune into the show yes. to begin with, so in maybe in smart some marketing. In, well in, in I wouldn't say so smart but more like the obvious one of like look you need to it, like someone like me who doesn't mm. really watch Legends of Tomorrow too often 
uh, it would convince me that oh I need to watch it so I can see these cameos right. from Oliver Queen, right. Reverse Flash, Damian. And these are Burke, things like that, that would happen in your comic books, your comic book crossovers. True. You have this True. group collaborating with this group, this character collaborating with this character. So you got to pick both issues up so you can see the full story. And right. you know, it's annoying sometimes, but it's also very uh, rewarding. That is a good point, though. The whole like you have to jump from title to title type of thing. But they haven't got into that point just yet. Like They're building up to it, like where you need there. to like at the end of the episode, it ends on a cliffhanger, mm. and you're like, in order to finish finish it. it, you need to jump over to this show. They sometimes do it with Flash the, and Arrow, sometimes, but it's not. Which was cool. Last yeah, last year, but uh, it hasn't been too bad. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the latest reaction of the Flash. Starts now. Nine. <laughs> Remember that other feeling you got when that thing you were excited about seemed to take forever to arrive? No problem. Take All it right. slow. Starting now, the flag. They've eaten here before go, with go, Oliver go. Queen and Felicity, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, use your speed, go. Okay. Oliver and Felicity, or oh, the whole Oliver group. and... Uh, <laughs> ah, Patty. No, no, no. no. Um, Where were we? Hunters. Let's go. Hey! What's nice. Going on? That? Yeah, why'd you open a breach? I didn't. What? That's why we called you. Well, can you close it? Once again, wouldn't have called if I could. Uh, somebody's coming through. He's back. back. No, Jesse. <laughs> well, it's... nice. I need your help. This, uh... Oh shit! Oh, Jesse! What's up, Jesse? Hey guys. Jesse. You... I mean, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I'm like. When did this happen? What happened? Ah, oh, he's a pissed. A few days ago. So this when I got Alan his feet back, Alan. This was that means you traveled back in time again. Oh, yeah, but man. Uh, how many times I tell you not to do that? Oh, you figured that out pretty quickly, Harry. Look, Harry, I, only a couple things are different. Team haircut? I'm sure not. <laughs> you guys are doing not on our channel? Uh, no. That's all him. Please <laughs> <laughs> just get Jesse back and see what she can do. Wally, jealous one. Not just jealous, but you know they can help She really can move. Yeah, she can. Um, I gotta go. The last thing I want is two of my kids sitting around the city running into danger. He's here. Pretty disappointed. I got that. Yeah. So I think he's gonna get speed. Hopefully creatively. It's always with the Sorry, eye. Magenta. That's magenta. Frankie's gone. That kind of reminds me of. Kelly Osborne. I just don't want anyone to get hurt. Whoa! Frankie Dog! It's me! Her name's Frankie Kane. Hey, she's calling like herself Frank the Kelly Osborne. I mean, thanks for your time trip. Genius. Not. I don't need to be reminded. Thank you. Stop anybody that. with those. Great. I mean, fast yeah. I can do. So Wally's gonna so go to good. alchemy? Mm. No, he didn't. That's it. You don't. Yeah. Wally's well, different than you buried you like a. Second daughter, you overshare your feelings. <laughs> a little bit more nuanced. Huh. What the fuck? I'm messing with you. Huh. I'll talk at you if I get any leads on Frankie, all right? All right. Second daughter. Daughter. <laughs> I like how they're wearing. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Well, it looks like they're. You all right? Ah, uh, you know when this whole thing happened to me, or they were actually the first person I wanted to call. How did this all happen? That would actually be really awesome if they it had was, sex. That's crazy. That's so how like he got his powers. That would be the dopest line ever. And, <laughs> and, and, and. Uh, I dreamt about it. <laughs> Believe me. You know, I was speeding right now. And I just did it for So you basically just jump started your powers. He's going to do some I mean, stupid I guess shit. So, yeah, why? Yeah, I knew it. <sighs> that's, I, what did you say to him? Not yeah. Right? Her, Felicity. Me? Yeah. Backside. You. 
if you helped her navigate her powers rather than just assuming they'll destroy her, she'd turn to you rather than push you away. Good point. Good point. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. That's what I get for taking Frankie in, huh, this? Same office that uh, uh, Arrow, the same hospital. What does that mean? <laughs> wow! No? Damn! Oh God. Well, I was kind of right about Magneto. <laughs> Couldn't work. All right. Woo! <laughs> no, you can burn a hole in this ceiling. No, run. Run, Jesse, run! Run, All right. Boris, run! Awesome. Thought you could use a little help. I got this. You go take care of her. I was a horrible person. He's just blaming you for all the bad things he's caused in his life. It's not your fault. This isn't because of you. I just want him to stop hurting me. This isn't the way. Your foster father never forgave himself for his mistakes. That's why he took them out on you. He couldn't face who he really is. He couldn't move forward. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I like how they still run. <laughs> Fuck out of this hospital. I'd be running too. Are we going home? Uh, I think we'll stay her a few days. Nice. A few more tests and also to see if this fits you. Ah! Let's see what we got. Oh! oh. Nice. Okay. Kind of looks like Captain Sisko. Did the insignias know if this would help you? My guilt has kept both of us back. For far too long. <laughs> Whisper <laughs> wells. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you put it that way. How did those clothes not catch on fire? This he, was, he was doing this as they were running. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Do you believe in ghosts? Um, huh? What if he's out there? Hey. Maybe. Do you think this thing is part of the Flashpoint timeline, too? I have a feeling a lot of things are these days. So there you guys have it. That was the latest episode, episode three of season three of The Flash. Uh, yeah. Highlights. Highlights, what do you think? Um, Jesse quit coming in, in the play, so finally. I'm, I'm happy because they may actually do something with the character because I've been wondering since the end. Um, Wally not having his powers, it's frustrating, but hopefully they'll have a nice little build for him to get his powers, at least by end of the season. Some of, it, I, some of it was a little predi predictable about yeah. the fact that he was going to try to jumpstart himself. Or I was kind of imagining that he was going to start driving. Right. Like, He's just gonna like be you mentioned in the, the right, right. In like he's gonna start uh, doing like his dangerous races again yeah. to get that thrill during um, a lightning storm or something like that. So whatever, can, right? Know. Yeah, uh, that's a good point. Um, but I do Wells like, coming back was cool. Yeah, Wells coming back. Unfortunately, Mary having the same haircut was even funnier. <laughs> unfortunately, that was spoiled in the uh, trailers. Um, last as of last week, the moment mm -hmm. the last episode ended, they showed. It in uh, like a preview, and he was in the thumbnail, and I'm like, oh my god, I would have loved to have waited for something right. like that. So so oh glad well. I didn't, you know, get spoiled by that because that would have ruined parts of the episode. Yeah, for me. yeah, it kind of it kind of sucked, but it was kind of cool that I've seen some uh, change from the Harrison Wells of Earth Two. Right. Like it, it's a little bit of a different character. I think mm. Flashpoint has affected. Earth 2 mm. in slight modifications, just right. slightly, because that whole thing with the knot thing, I'm like, yeah. what? <clears throat> like, it's but. like he's trying to, his character is becoming more human, so yeah, to speak. Yeah, which is probably a good thing in the long run, because the, Earth, the season 2 Earth 2, Harrison Wells was a little bit too much like Whisper, Whisper yeah. Wells, Whisper and... Wells. He was too sterile. Yeah, very, grunting very, all the time, and... Very cold. Right. Than this. Right. So it's fine in you know, I part of me does miss the um reverse flash Harrison Wells Ebert Thawne mm -hmm. possessed uh in the husk of uh Harrison Wells. I do miss that evil one, but that was really? kind of oh, I thought it was great. 
That was like his best performance. I liked it, but I don't think I would like it if it if he came back. Yeah, I mean, because it the, it'd be overkill for me. I agree with you. The, that was one of the best things about season two mm. was when uh, the Flash went back in time to uh, sort of uh, ask some information on how to build, I think, the Techion device. Right. This was right before the Supergirl crossover. That was such a good what? No, no, finish your comment now, and I'm gonna get to you. Just made me think about something. All right, so that was such a good uh, episode to see the old Ebert Thon. Harrison Wells mm. um, version yeah. um, and just the, the this he can play I for the actor's name escapes me but mm. he can play such a good like creepy guy just mm. the whole situation when he was just like run Barry run because you yeah. know you knew if you follow the show enough you knew who was really speaking in that scene but who that right. it was like it's so weird to see an actor being a character, pretending to be another okay. character. He's like, that dude to play the dude to play another dude. Basically. Um, the Tachyon device. Yeah. That's another way to try and jumpstart Wally's uh, potential, possibly. His, his uh, latent powers, if possible. Maybe. But I think they may actually go more, like we were saying, more along the lines of him coming across alchemy. Yeah. I'm pretty just, sure that's just, probably the way it's going to be utilized. Do you think alchemy's powers are... Um, through the speed force, through magic, through science, what, what's your what's your take? I'm gonna say it's somewhat through magic, the so, somewhat similar to the same way where Cisco can see in between herbs mm, dimensions. Uh, yeah. Dimensions, um, alchemy can see in between inconsistencies. Like very, this is a like the Doctor Strange reference. Um, our Doctor Strange mm. can sense certain things that aren't right and he sometimes goes around fixing it. Or mm. uh, to get things better, for example, uh, the Time Masters in okay. uh, Legends of Tomorrow. It seems to me, like I noticed this watching the last episode, I'm like, this is, I was like, I was watching, I'm like, this is kind of a, like the Flash storylines recently, as of late, but just even more further advanced into like repairing patches of history, history. like that right. when they went back in time with um, uh, to take care of uh, Albert Einstein or whatever, right. and then they made little little tweaks, tweaks and such. I was like, oh, it's kind of like the Flash, but even more different, uh, uh, more complex, so right. to speak. And you just have to need to kind of take it with a grain of salt. Mm. I personally. I'm fine if Wally really doesn't get powers for mm. a long, long time because I don't. The thing a lot of shows tend to do is they sometimes overdo it and put mm. too much. Like Arrow is actually very a very good example of this situation is because they had uh, Roy right. around for a long, long time before he became Arsenal mm. and. It started becoming Partially because he was an annoying character, right? Understandable. And that what well, that's one of the deals. It was like. Um, they were just had. They started adding in so many characters uh, as the main story. Mm. Are, are like arrows or Oliver, your side characters became, became the main, main focus, right? The main character or not group. even the main character, and, well, the main character group. So then it was hard to write right a storyline for a particular right. character. And I think that's one of the together. problems that Arrow actually had. It's like even with the last couple of episodes that I've been watching. They're talking about a team that isn't even around, but that's become like the focus of like, oh well, I need to do things this way because that's what got Laurel killed. Or right. I need to do this. And what about the old team? They're not here anymore. And like, but they're fo you're focusing on building mm -hmm. a new team again. So it was better than hearing about Ronnie dying all the time. True, but here's the thing: is like, j like I think sometimes if you start throwing too many things in too much, mm -hmm. then it becomes very similar to Batman and Robin. Like, you start off with Batman, right? and it's good. You did Batman Returns, it's good. But people were like, come on, man, we need Robin, we need Robin, come on, fucking do Robin. You, you finally did his, Batman Forever. Yeah. But no, for what it's worth, I mean, yeah, there's some problems. I mean, it was exciting, but then you can't have a Batman solo movie anymore without uh, you can't have Batman in a movie without having Robin now. So then, what do we do again? Now we have Batgirl. Now we have the whole family. And I know right. the movie situation <clears throat> is a bad example, but let's go ahead and look at the Batman the Animated Series. True. And There's... Batwing. What? Don't forget about Batwing. 
So the Batman uh, in the family. Oh, uh, well, okay, Batman. right. But but just animated purposes, even even I'm trying to see that Batman, Damien, Nightwing, yeah. Batgirl, uh, Batwoman, right. and Nightwing. But see the comics. <laughs> see the comics can take a side. A co the comics can take a side note, and you can still have a, a solid Batman story by himself roaming around. But right. when you have a TV show, there becomes like a big issue. Mm -hmm. Like you know, the further they so go. You can't just have Batman by himself anymore. You gotta, you gotta have, have Robin all, everybody Batman. because that's what the market, the audience, is looking for. Same thing with Olicity. Once you make them a couple, you can't ever dissolve that and it mm. becomes a partnership type of thing. So right. that's it. for me personally, I don't really want to see a show with a bunch of speedsters all the time. I don't mind if the story can support it. If they have a good, strong story, then I'm okay with that because you can have, say, three speedsters working together to do three different things for one specific purpose. Have one that's trying to, you know, patch up uh, breaches. You have yeah. one that's trying to uh, keep one bad guy or a group of bad guys from doing one thing and another one doing something else. Given they have their super speed, they can't be everywhere at one time. So yeah. kind of like the last episode of no, Supergirl, I get it. I, having I, yeah. two Metallos in True. two different cities. Right. Okay, doing something similar to that is an easy way to have them busy to work through a story. I agree, but look at look at but it. not through the right, whole but season. Look, yeah, and that's the thing. Look at what happened at the end of Supergirl. Superman's gone because you can't no. have you can't have Superman in every damn episode. No, like but that. what you can do is with those side characters, you can take some pressure off of Barry and give a little limelight to those slight characters while building a better story for Barry. So you can have an episode that's dedicated to just Jesse, have an episode that's dedicated to just Wally, or to Joe, you know, because okay. he's one of my favorite characters on the show. Um, going deeper with some of the side characters and then bringing it into Barry, like Barry being like the side story. Because him being the main focus is great, but when the story isn't really that interesting, True. his character looks weak. Okay, so would we say that as of right now, Barry's main story is interesting? Because I would say so. It is, I it like is what interesting. He, because what's going on right now is Barry... It's his fault. Exactly. Barry's paying for everything. He's still, and it looks like this entire season, that seems to be the deal, what's going to happen, is that everything Barry did with Flashpoint he's going to be paying for. Yeah, he's paying for the consequences of his selfish Magenta, actions. Magenta, uh, the Alchemy. Rival, uh, uh, well, Alchemy's around, but what I mean is Magenta, the rival, mm -hmm. every villain he's facing right now is a direct result, or an uh, indirect result of something he did. Yeah. And he's paying, like the sins of his uh, actions keep coming to him face forward and right. such. And even the good side of things he's paying for in yeah, a sense. Because things aren't melding well together. Well, not Him even Iris. Right. Didn't, that, didn't really have that that mesh there. Correct. Made. Not just that, but also the fact that like he has to he some he inadvertently feels sorry for uh, Wally as well because yeah. he's he's worried because about he, Wally cause, and because he basically took his power in some form or fashion. Yeah, uh, some form or fashion. By changing the timeline, it basically comes to where he may not be affected at all. Ah, uh, compared. That's. I guess that's the reason debatable, it works for yeah. Jesse because she was on a different Earth. I possibly. Thought, is, see, is I thought about that. I've, I've been wondering about that too because. Um, Can't say I agree with it. Right. But I've been I'm wondering not. about that because I was like, well, if you change the timeline, that should change time itself, not just one Earth, basically. That's a that's a theory that they mm. haven't really. Um, yeah, if time changes, does it change on another Earth or just on that specific? Right, Earth? I've always been on the theory that if time changes, it changes Everything. all Earths. Yeah. But I guess there's not really a. I mean, it's the same issue with Supergirl and yeah, that's uh, a Supergirl. Well, Supergirl and uh, Superman and why are they shooting blue? Uh, heat vision and stuff. Instead of red. Mm -hmm. Right, so they, they don't really, it just, it doesn't explain it, and then even with Supergirl, I, and I'm not trying to make this a Supergirl review, but when I watched it last night, um, I was like, so Metallo can shoot kryptonite that's hurting them, mm -hmm. but when they're, apparently, they can still, the Kryptonians can still fight him mm -hmm. when they're in the proximity. So and I was like, what the hell? Of, yeah, like, that's one of the yeah. things I made a comment about um, on my review for Supergirl. Yesterday was basically 
I like how they're playing it to where, yeah, they're within a certain range of uh, the kryptonite, but it doesn't affect them immediately. It's progressive. I like that because I think having it be immediate, it's overkill. I agree. But when they're fighting, you see that it's actually kind of draining them yeah. as they're fighting. Ah, I like that because it's yeah. like, okay, it's affecting at least, at least you can, he can get some hits in like a regular right. person. And it did have some sort of appeal in the sense that... Um, um, you could like I, what I noticed is you got something very similar to like Arrow. You actually saw mm. some hand-to-hand -hand combat with right. Superman fighting, which normally in, in the animated series you just say, help, and he takes like some he does something his, a last ditch effort that gets some distance between the right. kryptonite, and that's like, always been like kind of shouldering the right, power right, or something like that. The yeah. That's always been pretty good. <laughs> um, the yeah. two main concepts that I thought worked really well in this particular episode mm. is. Is, and, and this is something that Honest Trailers sort of po pointed out in a joking way, okay. but I actually thought was really important was the fact that... Um, Bobblehead Bear? No, not Bobblehead. I, I did catch that, but the family issues. So they're mm. like It's a CW show, but you know, Arrow sometimes still deals with relation... No, they're still dealing with a relationship issue. They plug the whole relationship situation with Iris and um, Barry, okay. but it was just barely, barely touched upon. Mm -hmm. But what we saw here were two big evident factors of like family mm -hmm. with the Jesse, Jesse and, and her uh, father, Henry, and so Joe, and, Joe his sons. and his son, um, the, the, and then what did they call the, the second daughter <laughs> situation? Yeah, calling him the second daughter was kind of funny. That was funny, but. Because Barry's very sensitive. I did like that situation. I did like that family issue that was being touched mm -hmm. upon because it wasn't overly done right. and it was really relatable yeah but on top of enough. that but on top of that what i thought was really strong in this particular episode is that they touched upon uh orphans and um yes. adopted children and as well as abuse and abuse i thought that was done really well with that not making it really in your face situation yeah. like uh some sort of like really big propaganda against uh, abusive children they just kind of hinted like they put it and in it there happens sometimes and that right people, my my thing with that is I was happy that the father suffered the repercussions of his actions right the abusive getting, father right and getting jail time I like that I'm I like that she didn't kill him because then they're making the abusee the abuser right and that's a cycle that needs to be broken because when you don't break it, it continues. Well, and that, that's what and I think that's what worked really well with this particular episode was the Flash. Like the moment the Flash confronted Magenta, mm. like it, as me living through uh, Barry, I was like, all I wanted to do was hug her. Mm. Like uh, that's what I was planning to do. Was uh, like that's what I would want to do is just give her a hug. And it seems that's exactly tell her that that's right. Okay. And I'm glad that it ended in that sort of particular level. Mm -hmm. But I also like the speech that he was giving her was just like, look, he's going to pay for what he's done, but don't let him uh, turn you into him. Exactly like that. And I think it, it worked very well without being over dramatic or, or cheesy, mm -hmm. basically. So um, I'm glad that didn't end up being like an overall, overall all out power brawl. Um, had he knocked her out, doesn't mean he had to physically do it. He could have, you know, ran a circle around her and stopped air and she passes out or something. And then takes it to Star Labs and they have a talk there. That would have worked also, but I'm actually looking back at it. I'm glad that they didn't go that route and he just talked her down. Well, if he talked her, she would have dropped the boat. That was the problem. Well, get Jesse up there. But Jesse was barely keeping it like yeah, up well, there. It would have like, it would have yeah, flipped they, over. They, they, they would have thought of something, but in general, I like that he was able to talk her down from it, and it wasn't one of those things where he needed to use his super speed yeah. to solve the problem. I think, and that's one of the things I, I'm glad to see what's going on. And just referring back a little bit more to the uh, crisis, uh, not mm. crisis on infinite earths, but like the, in my mind, um, the idea of having one too many speedsters uh, in okay. the show, like I really, I really want to keep it a core flash show because I mm. still think Barry Allen's story has so much to develop, and um, I'd rather not see Wally and Jesse for too long. I'm glad that eventually Jesse is going to come around and uh, go to Earth 2, right. um, because what's eventually going to happen, I feel, in order to keep the show strong, either Wally's going to, if 
when it's a matter it's not a matter of if but when when Wally gets his powers it's going to be a matter of him going to a different earth uh, a different him city. leaving the city which means he's gonna have to leave Joe or Joe's gonna have to go or something like that and you mentioned a few reactions before mm -hmm. was you can't have two dads you can't have a Henry Allen and Joe West so that was one of the reasons they took out Henry Allen so you can't like you can't like it's just not gonna work with two flashes or flash and kid flash okay. it's gonna start looking a little corny after a while well, my it, opinion it, it could but it could also be really fun because it'll it get a it'll give a different tone to the episode if you have a few episodes where they're like buddying up to stop somebody I get it cool. it's good yeah but unless he's doing his own thing like like I would ra sooner or later I think they would have to send them to another city or something like that it works really well in the comics but that's because you can write the comics in a way that mm -hmm. people aren't looking to see looking that to see re reoccurring character all the time I like mean Jesse going to Earth 2 being uh, Jesse Quick and the new Flash yeah. of Earth 2 would be kind of interesting it'd be cool but then if Joe like it's uh, he'll miss him but it's I rather that happen than Joe get killed. They kill Joe off. I may actually have to stop watching. That because would be interesting if they kill he's Joe. A, he's he's a core character, and I like, I really really like his character because he helps bring uh, a type of moral compass to decisions yeah. made by the group, not just Barry. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get into the question of the video. Okay, I have a main question of the video for you, but before that, I do want to get a pretense and also give you guys a... Do you guys, what do you guys think about the whole multiple speedsters in one show? I'm still thinking, like, like Dante was saying, if it's written well, it might work, but I also remember what happened with Arrow, and the fact that Oliver Queen had training, it helped play off of the fact that you saw Arsenal kind of grow gradually, but... It did get kind of ridiculous after a while that you saw them both coming up in the same scene each time, basically similar abilities like that. So that that's one thing I want to say. However, alchemy, alchemy. We saw at the end that there was a little bit of a hint with uh, Malfoy. I'm just calling him Malfoy. No. Big head Malfoy. <laughs> um, we both were kind of thinking that it's very possible that... Malfoy is alchemy. alchemy and I was also thinking about this in some sense is that he is um, the most and I mean the the CSI guy mm -hmm. he is the most dominant uh, change mm -hmm. that we've seen since Flashpoint that, like, and he's he's really intelligent so him right. being there right. studying Metas studying Barry gives him a chance to figure out his enemy. He's there. He's there a lot, and he's there pretty uh, deep into it, basically. So all all signs tend to point to him at this moment in time, and the fact that he's such uh, annoying kind yeah. of character. Yeah, very much. He's is annoying. Almost like they're throwing sort of the, those. Almost like he's the villain. No, no, no but no, no. no. In the sense okay. that he's such so annoying that it's kind of a smoke screen. Because if mm. he was too nice to Barry and, and so help he, him, he's Wells. Then he'd right. be Wells. Yeah. So the fact that he is so annoying and doesn't look like that kind of person, like, and he, it, it sounds like it'd be the perfect sort of case. He's researching mm. and covering his tracks by being C CSI. Whilst also studying, like, I would say all signs lead to him right now. Yeah. It'd be dumb if it was Wells again. Yeah, like I, if it were Wells again, I can't say I'd be happy. So like that is the again. question of the video, guys. Who do you think Alchemy is yeah. right now with the evidence that is provided to you at this moment in time? Yes. How do you think Wally should get his powers as well? I'm still with the whole... And, and should he get his powers? That's a good question. Should uh, Wally get his powers, actually? Because if, if you're with Agasan and you agree that ah, there could be too many speedsters, right. he doesn't really need his speed um, for him to be a decent side character in the show. If he gets it, more of a surprise, because one of the theories we were kind of discussion, is discussing, and it looks like it's mm. going to lead down this way, is the fact that Wally's getting dreams. Um, yeah. Like Because it's, when you watch the episode, they're, they're 
talking about specific things. And it's they like show Wally words, right? Like Wally's having dreams about things going on, having dreams about Jesse, right? And then what's the first thing that they talk about when they're having that group discussion? An alchemy, dream sequences. Wait, wait, wait! wait. Did, did Wally she, say that she, he had dreams about Jesse? Yeah, because oh. that's why she said after she got her powers and she went to Earth too that she, you know. Uh, the only thing she wanted to do was just really pick up the phone and talk to him because right. she had missed him. And he's like, well, he wanted to do the same thing, but believe me, I dreamt about it. Uh, I thought he was, no, that was him talking about the uh, speed, that he wanted speed, dr dreaming about dreaming the speed. About it. Not and Jesse. No, but she's involved in that because it happened at the same time. They were next to each other when it happened. Okay. And when he was dreaming about it, he's talking about a different time, him at a different timeline. Yeah. Which is yeah. what happened with Magenta, uh, which is why right, right, he approached right. her, gave her the powers, so on and so forth. Same thing happened with the rival. Got it. All right, guys, Red Red Nation, stand up, speak up, let us know what you guys think, and uh, make sure you check out DC Sun's channel. He's got yeah. over a thousand subscribers now. Yeah, Amazing. yeah, it's nice. Thank you, guys. I appreciate the support. Keep it coming. Super crew, um, like up. Like Akasan said, uh, leave me a message over on my channel. Let me know what you think, um, and I'll get back to you. For now, this is the world's finest of Tokyo. <laughs> the Batman and Superman of Tokyo signing out, and we'll check back with you guys next week in a flash. Keep it serious. <laughs> All my friends are heathen, take it slow. Wait for them to ask you who you know.